Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather. Welcome if you are new. I'm excited to be back. I haven't um, shared a video in a while. And today I have the incredible Sarah Huckabee with me. Sarah, so glad that you are here. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I feel like I've kind of come out of a rough spot. I think you feel that way too. <laughs> we're going to talk yeah. about that in a minute, but before we do, um, we're here today because we've got some exciting new things coming with Starship Healing, and we just wanted to sort of share. We've got a new mini session that we're going to talk about today, um, and we have this, we are working right now on this incredible um, really big energetic clearing. We're calling it an energetic clearing toolkit at the moment. That name could change. Um, but this is something that you and I have been thinking about and working on for a while. And it is a program, um, an all-inclusive energetic clearing program that somebody can work with at home. So, um, you know, Sometimes it's hard. It takes a little bit of time to get a, an appointment or a session to do a starship healing session. Um, this is going to give you access to all of that amazing clearing and healing that we do in that program. You can work with it at your own pace at home. So we're going to talk about all that today and share all of those details with you. But first, I thought we would start off and talk a little bit about these energies, because I feel like Sarah and I have been getting beat over the head <laughs> yeah. lately. Yeah. 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 It's been a wild ride for sure. I do feel that we're on the other side of it. So <laughs> that's nice. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I would still like be in my hole. But um, but I do feel better than before. So what they say is true is like, it's like the, the lower, the lows, the higher, the highs. So if you're yeah. in the dip, the other side is a bit brighter, I feel so, and it makes everything worth it. Um, so yeah, hindsight, you know, you can look back and be like, okay, I survived. So, and I feel good. So great. It's kind of like where I'm at. Yeah, I feel like what we've been getting um, as we've been tuning in with our guides and trying to figure out like what the heck is going on right now is a very powerful energetic time. We are in eclipse season. There's two major eclipses that are sort of close together. Um, there's a lot happening energetically at the moment. We just moved through the spring equinox. Um and what's been coming through for me is these energies that are coming in are helping to push a lot of that dense, heavy energy that we're holding, the traumas, the, um, the blocked energy, the blockages that we deal with in these sessions. It's sort of pushing it to the surface for you to move through, to deal with, to clear and release. And it is uncomfortable. Um, it gets you in this space and especially if you've been on this healing journey for a while and you think I've been doing all this work because that's how I feel I have all these tools and resources I've been doing all this work I know all the things and man it just sucks you right back down doesn't it yeah and it makes you think or for me anyways because I'm like this deep analyzer I'm like where did I go wrong <laughs> What did I'll, I do? <laughs> I'm like, what have I done? They're mad at me. So um, that's kind of been my thing. And then my guides, which I work closely with the Arcturians, and they're like, quit the rowing yourself a pity party. And I'm just like, okay. But it, it, it does, like, whenever you're in the midst of it, it does feel a bit personal. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's, it is literally, cause we say this, especially in quantum healing hypnosis, you know, when you come in for a session, of course, you're always wanting to have everything cleared. You know, sometimes you go in and you're like, I want this done and this done and this done. And, and really what we do is we're peeling back those layers. We always talk about layers, the onion, but it, it is deep layers. Um, I know I tuned in with my guides the other day, um, after a messages session, and I was like, can you tell me what is going on? Because I feel like, you know, everything is just going crazy haywire around me. And they were very clear, like, 
you are going through a massive push. It's, it's like the higher that you raise your frequency, um, you're aligning to those higher dimensions. You cannot take that heavy baggage that you've been carrying with you. It does not align. So you have to get it out of the body and it requires um, it to sort of surface so you can feel it, you can acknowledge it. Um, the problem is, is I think for, um, for me, and I know a lot of people are very heavy in the mind. I'm a very heavy thinker. You are a very heavy thinker and analyzer. And why is this happening? And we sort of pull ourselves back down in, like you said, what have I done? What am I doing wrong? Um, you feel like you're, you're not on the right path or on the right track. And it's not that at all. It simply is um, a clearing of energy that has to come out some way. So either you are, you know, meditating every day and actively working to clear, or you're doing one of these amazing quantum healing sessions that helps you with that, or the light is going to come into the planet and the energy, and it's going to push it to the surface. It's like <laughs> one of those ways it's, it's going to yeah. happen one way or another. Yeah. What do you feel like has helped you sort of move through sort of those dips? Like what has been getting you through those heavier times? I think knowing that just like the seasons, like it's not going to last. Mm -hmm. um, so like while you're in it is mostly just knowing that it, you're not, it's not going to be that way forever. Um and it's not like this is our first rodeo with energies and stuff like that. So I always know when I am in those dips that typically it is a shedding for like a rebirth or something new or something will be revealed. So I just hang on to um, the what's to come, the big revelation that you're going to be able to see like a new perspective that will be given. Um and just the brighter days that are going to come. Cause I do feel it's like you're going through the shadows to find that briar higher ground. So honestly, it's like just knowing that um, it's not forever and that it typically has been in the past. And again, um, it's just something greater is coming and it's just preparing for that. So it's just remaining hopeful. Mostly I've always just been like this hopeful person. I think, um, is in knowing that brighter days are coming. So it's like hanging on to that hope. And I think too, it's like, um, because I do feel like a lot of like the, the light workers, like that is our job is holding hope and holding the light. Mm -hmm. So in these times, I, I feel like a soldier, like, cause I do kind of feel that way. You know what I mean? So it's like practicing and holding the light and holding on to that hope. So it's like, I feel like it's like boot camp for what's to come, you know what I mean? And being able to like anchor in, in your knowing. So if anything, I just look at it as a training, knowing it's not going to last and that brighter days are coming. So that's the mentality I just, um, I set myself in. So yeah, it helps. Yeah. It's like absolutely. tricking yourself, but not really, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Make it's it, not so tricking. You make it, right? it's like, <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, no, and believing, cause I do have this, like, you know, I think we all do. We have like this, this knowing of something greater is going on. Like physically we feel that it's like torment, but there's something deeper going on. And it's just holding on to that and having faith and knowing that it'll be okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, and what my guides, cause you know, I feel like we, we know all those things. We know why this is happening, but we do sink back into the mind. Why is this happening? What's happening to me? Why is this coming up? Why are all these things? And my guides have been popping in, even your guides have been popping in because we're so connected. And, you know, sometimes her Arcturian guides just pop into my mind and, and start chattering away. And they've just been reminding me like to stay focused on the greater purpose of, of why this is happening right now. You know, it was like coming in even this morning, we, we know it's easy to get stuck in um, the lower emotions of the human of why is this happening? Why do I have to experience? Why is it so uncomfortable? But they were like, what you don't understand from the higher perspective is you are clearing and releasing and letting go of what is holding you down in those lower dimensions. 
And as you do, it allows you to rise higher and higher. And I think you and I talked because, you know, the work that we do, I am sort of guiding the session and getting you where you need to be. And then you are making the higher connections with the guides, bridging the connection between the client and the starship and the frequencies, the higher frequencies. So you're in it a bit more like I'm in it too, but you're in it from a different way. So I feel like you even feel, you mentioned like you're being pulled higher and higher because you're connecting to those frequencies right? and you're feeling almost a disconnect even more from the lower frequencies of the earth. So it's, you want to talk about that for a bit? Well, I'm I know, still I know trying there are to probably understand. many that are feeling that. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I'm still working through it now. And, and like I, like I said, like the analyzer in me, I do like to understand like what's going on. Cause it's like, you just feel it so deeply and it's so hard to put words to it. And so I'm still trying to um, figure out like, like to explain it on what it is that we're feeling or I'm feeling. And I know I'm not the only one yeah, because it is new territory. I feel and being able to explain this new feeling is so it's difficult. Um, but it's like, um, while I feel like I was in the depths of like, like darkness where I couldn't really see, which it's not a darkness. It's more of like, um, I don't even have the, the words. I don't, cause which honestly it may be that, but I think that a lot of people just put a negative, um, vibe or whatever, um, or look on when you say you're in the dark. And that's not, it's like the most healing place to be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, Like we were talking about, I'll just give the example of like the dandelion the other day. And I'm like, cause we see the top of the dandelion and it's like this vibrant yellow um, and it's beautiful, but in the darkness, like in the roots, like beneath the ground in the dark is where the healing properties of that dandelion lie. And I think that's the same thing with our healing is sometimes we have to go to the deepest depths of ourself. And if we're unpacking things that sometimes where those super old emotions get suppressed, but anyway, so I'm in the midst of yeah. going through that, my baggage and, but what we're, I feel like in the past, what we're able to do is like bring it back to the surface to um, kind of see it in the light. But now we're on like this new high And it's almost hard to, I I felt like I was just floating because it's like, there's nowhere to kind of ground myself anymore because it's like the old ground that I would have grounded into is no longer there. It's like, I'm now just in this floating area. Now it's like, we have to learn how to fly because it's no longer rooting into, um, because I feel like we're in like this transitional period between Mm -hmm. what you can call the old earth or the new earth which is just a different it's just a difference of consciousness but right now we're in like this this in-between state so you can't really plant your feet and ground into the old earth anymore and the new earth isn't really here so i feel like i don't have anywhere to ground at the moment so i'm just like stuck here floating um to establish new roots in yeah in where i don't know like it it, because it's not really tangibly here yet so that's kind of how I feel. Um, I don't even remember if that was your question yeah. because it's so hard to talk about my feelings at the <laughs> moment uh, because I'm all over the place. But it's yeah. a but it's a good thing because I feel I've never felt more home. Um, and that's another thing too. I think that we were going to talk about is um, now within these the sessions, like they are going deeper and they're like mm-hmm. and into these more expansive places, and so. Now I feel like when I meditate, I'm able to like go home. Like the other day, um, I, when I was in the, in, in the trenches, um, we had a starship healing session and, uh, the, my guides, which are the Arcturians, they just kind of like swooped me up and they're like, we're just going to take you home. Cause they're like, there's no healing like home. And yeah, I think that's right now is like, we kind of just, I don't know. Like maybe I'll have the words, but anyway, so they picked <laughs> me up and they take me and then I just start crying because mm-hmm. I was like, they're taking me to our tourists. Like they're taking me home. And then yeah. they just sat me there and I just cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. And then I got to bring a little bit. It's like, I got to 
be home, do this deep healing because there's no healing like home. And then you come back here and you're able to like, be like, okay, I'm okay now because you can ground into, I think where our soul is feeling that longing for, which is just a connection back mm-hmm. to um, whether it's source or I, I know that my guides, like right now, I'm really, really leaning into them um, because I do feel like it's like a support like I've never had before. And I do know that I have a mission here and I'm going to stick around and see it through. And so I just feel like as long as I have my guides with me and then like we can go on field trips home, then I'm able to better manage being here in this time, especially with everything I feel like just up in the air. But anyways, that was just a kind of a long-winded answer. Yeah. No, I love that because that's one of the things, you know, as we have done the Starship Healing Sessions, they have continued to evolve. They are always evolving and we're growing and going deeper into this healing. It's, it's so different from session to session. There's no two that are alike. Right. Um, every client is different, but we are feeling more and more because there are so many people out there and especially, you know, we hear it through our starship sessions. I hear it in my quantum soul portal um, from the members there. I hear it all over the place in different sessions um, where there's a feeling of, so the messages sessions, um, I have a lot of clients that work with Emily and I, and they will come through and say, there is something missing. Like I have, there's, there's, this thing is wrong and I don't know what it is. And the guides will come through and say, you miss home. It, this earth is not your home and you feel that and and what's creating all of these issues is because you are lacking that connection to where you came from and we come from many places it's not just right. one but there's oftentimes one place that your soul has the strongest connection to like yours is Arcturus mine is the Pleiades so those are resonant frequencies that feel so good to us. Um, yeah. So I think on our starship sessions, what we're starting to see is that we are able to sort of, you are able through the way that we connect, create that bridge and provide that connection back to the frequency of home so that yeah. when the client connects in that way, they can bring that frequency back in, like you said, anchor it back into the body and go, okay. <laughs> Right. I, keep going. <laughs> I feel like the more that we are ascending, the more that we are expanding our consciousness, it's like we are becoming the true version of us, which is, which they talk about, like, um, cause anytime that someone has like a birthday, whenever we're connecting with the guides, they call it happy portal day. Like they don't portal say day. birthday, they say yeah. portal day. Portal and day. it's like you yeah. came in through a specific star system star Mm -hmm. star system that is resonant to your soul and that's how you came in and so i think right now we are going back to the root the deepest parts of who we are and so we are feeling that's why it's kind of like like what the crap is this (laughs) being here on earth like though we we love gaia and we share this connection with her as well not saying anything against being here but we feel something like you said something's missing and it's that that home piece that we are connecting we're able to have this connection with but we just need to feel it it's like we need to um it's like like i'm remembering maybe but i do feel like the more expanded i get the more connected to the arcturians or arcturius that i become and the more I can like check in with them then it's like able to stabilize me here you Mm -hmm. know what I mean yeah so that's been very helpful for me so I think um um and then also too I think we're bringing a piece of home here because I do feel like that's like the whole thing of of earth itself is like this living library and it's like where we all can come together where we're all made of these different pieces where we get to like come and co-create and cohabitate so it's Mm -hmm. like bringing pieces different pieces of everybody's different homes and bringing it here to live together and um so i think the more that we can feel into home and then get that connection reestablished and i have felt that um, it's easier to 
be here (laughs) during these times, especially. So, um, and then too, like, I know that they, someone asked in maybe a quantum questions session or a new earth mastery session talking about, so when are the, the aliens, the ETs, the galactics, when they're going to, when are they going to start, you know, living among us? And then they're laughing. They're like, child, that's you. Like (laughs) y'all are the ones. (laughs) Yeah. They're like, y'all are there like yeah y'all are the ones that they say are the you know galactic's gonna come live among us and then i honestly feel more galactic every day i think i was telling you the other day i was like i feel it's like i'm not less of a human i'm not taking away the beauty of that but i do feel like i said more of home like i feel more and it's like the it's so nice because i do feel like from a very early age that I was out of place. And Mm. finally I feel because of the connection that I'm able to bring here, it's, it's home. It's, it's because home obviously is, is, is that feeling. It it is who you are. It's the, the piece of wherever you're from that resides within you. Cause obviously as within, so without, or as above, so below. So it's like whatever out there, even though we say Arcturus, but it's, it resides here. And the more that you can connect in with it, home is wherever you are. And I feel like that's what we're establishing more and more now as the sessions, it's like, okay, we're healing. Cause like it was, I remember quantum healing was like the, the most interesting thing about it at first, when I learned about it years ago was the past life regression and being able to see yourself in all these different lives. And then, then I noticed like in the starship sessions, we don't have um, mm-hmm. much of the past life experience. You're actually like, seeing yourself as this warrior that you are throughout Mm -hmm. time. And it's not, you don't have to heal. It's more of stepping into the role and it heals throughout space and time. And now I feel like the next level of evolution is this is checking into your home and becoming home. And that way it's like your home, wherever you go. And there's no more like separation. It's like feeling it's, it's, you are becoming the home no matter where you are. And then that's, that's next level healing. And to me, that has been everything. Yeah. So anyway, sorry, I, I've kind of got off on another no, tangent, that but was that's like where my heart and passion is right now. Cause I do feel that's the direction that we're going. Yeah. And we were talking about, cause you and I both over the last couple of weeks, I feel like we're sort of, um, because of the work we do and we work so closely together, we're sort of being put through it at the same time. It's like, okay, we're definitely leveling up. So many people are leveling up right now. It's, and it's a shedding and releasing of the old, which is what my guides came in and said. And and I was like, give me some, give me some positives here, please. And they were like, this is just how it has to be. It is the final shedding and clearing and releasing of the old you. And they're like, you are not that person anymore. You are a brand new person. And we were talking about, you know, because the way that they kind of said it is it's like a a, a death of the old person. But I love you put a a spin on it of instead of saying that version of me is dying and gone and no longer here. It's like, let's honor that version of us that we were, even the one that had all the issues or had all of the things that they wish you know, they weren't, you know, that those versions of me that I look back and I go, wow, I acted that way, or I behaved that way, or I felt that way. But honoring and respecting that version of you that is sort of on the way out, um, merging it back together, like bringing it back in, like you did a great job through all of the experiences that you went through. And that's okay. But now we're stepping up. So come on, yeah. let's go. I don't know if you want to add some to that, but it was so lovely. The way yeah. You said it. Well, it, it's like, because I do feel like through this, everybody calls it like this death. And it's like you are emerging, if, that, if that's the right word, emerging, 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 emerging. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> out of this um, old, like this, call it this old, outdated version of yourself. And I feel like that even puts like, I don't like the... I don't like the frequency, I guess it's putting on that as, as if that's bad, that was like a wrong version of you and it's not. And I think that it's truly beautiful. Like I was like, I feel like we need to honor that person because that's one, the experience that you signed up for, for earth school, for this expansive learning. And 
but that is over and you graduated. It's not that, oh, that was horrible. That was, that was something that you, that was a role that you played and it was beautiful and it was a part of how to survive. You know what I mean? Up until this moment, it is how you got through to get to where you are and look at you now. Like you went through all of that, but it still didn't take away from your heart and being guided and allowing yourself to, to be curious and then to, to follow a whisper and, you know, up until, because the world was so loud and you just did what you had to do to get by. And, Mm -hmm. and I don't feel like that's something that you should shame. Like I do feel like that's something you should honor. Mm -hmm. And so instead of killing off a version of you, I think, which that's what we're going to do on the starship group session in the portal on Monday um, is we're going to go through a whole meditation of honoring that version of you that played this human role Mm -hmm. uh, through all of the traumas and the egos. But I felt like those were necessary. So, so I think the whole thing is like, don't shame yourself through this growth process. Mm -hmm. Like I do feel like it, we should shed more light on it. And I do feel like an old version too, is everyone talking about the Phoenix. People use that example as rising from the ashes, or even they're talking about, um, uh, beauty and destruction. It's like this whole rebirth, but this whole death has to happen, which maybe, but I'm thinking, I I was like, I want to do something different as like this. I'm going to say the creator in me is like, I want a different, I want a new way. Like, I don't want things to die or have to be killed off for something new to flourish. Like, why can't we just love, love it through the process and learn and grow and um, evolve through love? Like, why does it always have to be destruction? And I do feel like even with the world, a lot of people are like, it's got to crumble. It's got to like the financial system's got to crumble. The government's got to crumble. This has got to crumble. Everything has got to crash. And then there for a while, like I bought into that and I'm like, yeah, but then I'm like, but, but why? Like if, if, if anything is possible, this is where I am. And that's how we've been able to make the starship stuff is like, I do truly believe anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And if they tell me that, then I'm like, then, then it doesn't have to be that way. And so I'm choosing right now to believe that we can love it into its next, um, into its next stage, into its, into the next part of evolution, like loving it into this brighter thing. Like, don't, let's not throw a match on it and burn it down. Like, I do feel like we can like love it to death, (laughs) but not dying, but, loving it till it grows and blossoms into something new. And I feel that's what I want to do with us right now is like, I want it. And it's not like get rid of ego death. Cause I used to say that all the time I'm going through this ego death, but that sounds so, so heavy. I'm like, why can't we just love ourselves into the new version that we're becoming? So anyways, that's. Well, it is, you know, we're evolving. um, And you hear so much about history and what's, what is the truth and what's not, but you know, there have been times where the world has to, had to go through a destruction and sort of restart. And we're finally at a level of consciousness where we are able to shift from this lower dimension into the higher dimensions without going through that whole traumatic um, destruction of the earth. Um, so I agree it's, and, and the guides have said, cause we, we've been talking in the portal, we do the quantum question sessions and we do the new earth mastery sessions. Those are all channeled through Emily and the guides, different guides come through to bring through messages for the group to help us to learn and educate us from their perspective. And they're talking about the eclipse energy. Cause everybody's curious, like what's going to happen with this eclipse on the eighth. It's a big one. And there's like lots of stuff flying around the internet about what it means and what it's connected to and what's going to happen. And really, I think at the core of it, it all really goes back to us. And it's like you said, how are you choosing to look at things? Are you choosing to look at things have to be just because they said they, they will, if we're not, 
shifting our minds and the way that we look at things and the things that we focus on, there will be a shaking. They've been saying right. that over and over. There will be things that happen that have to shake people awake and shake them out of where they are. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. At any point, you could decide to shift your focus from what you're yeah. looking at and what you're focused on, which is what you're sort of create, you're putting your energy into that. You could shift it, like you said, into, well, no, it doesn't yeah. have to be that way. It could be this way. And the, the gods have said, like, I feel like, um, like, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure like my interpretation of what was said was that there are like two possible ways that this could go. It could be like so much light hits the earth mm -hmm. and everyone is ready to to see it to um to feel into it to just allow that to be and then we can just move forward or so much light is going to hit and people are going to still be wanting to hang on to, to the old, old things mm -hmm. um and and resisting the light yeah and so either way the outcome is always going to be eventually we're going to move into brighter days but which which route is the collective more open to in this moment, like right now? So yeah. I obviously we are working in a collective sense and we have to um, kind of go by what people are ready for. And so I'm just like, I feel like if we just remain hopeful and, and b do believe, because I do think that there is a narrative that's being pushed about destruction. And so people are like, well, Fear. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think people are just like, cause yeah, eventually that will lead to a rebirth, but I'm just like, how about we skip that and we just hold on and ride the light all the way through, you know what I mean? Um, and I do, I, I'm hoping for that because I'm ready. I'm so ready, <laughs> We're tired, um, but you know, whatever, whatever the collective, obviously we're in for the, we're in here for the long haul, but, um, but I think that maybe some people don't believe or, or don't know that that's an option um, yeah. that yeah. we can't like any, any destruction <laughs> isn't the only way to get ourselves out of this. Yeah. Um, we can love ourselves, love and hang on and hold the light um, and ride the light through and rise above it. And then the destruction is like, we don't, it, it's, it, it's not necessary I don't believe that it is. I think that there is enough light on the planet. There is enough people like our consciousness is expanded to go on that higher timeline. Yeah. And I do feel it. Like I, I feel that that timeline is already here and readily available. We just have to all collectively jump on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am in total agreement. So I think no matter what anyone that watches this is going through, just allow yourself know that all of this is for the betterment because it yeah. does the more that you're able to release and clear and and clear your own vessel focus on yourself put your energy and attention on yourself and, and getting yourself in a good high vibe place it just makes whatever we move through a little more easy yeah um, because you have less that's weighing you down less that's connect that's that's you know keeping you stuck in the lower dimensions but they have said you have made a great point and I, and we see this, we just finished, or we're finishing up the evolve program, which um, has been amazing. And the guides are talking about, um, you know, cause that is more focused on growing your spiritual business and, and stepping out as a healer. And we're seeing so many people that are like, I'm no longer resonating with my job, what I used to do. I'm feeling pulled in this direction, but there's a fear with letting go. There's a fear of, will I be able to support myself? Will I be able to make a living? Will I be able to even do the healing work? So there's a lot of transitions happening right now, but the guides just encourage all the time let go of what is no longer in resonance with you because that's what's holding you back from stepping into who you truly are yeah. from, from accessing those higher, those higher dimensions, those higher energies that are going to move you forward. Yeah. But it's, it can be scary sometimes letting go of, of what's comfortable and what, you know, 
and yeah. stepping out into this new unknown space of like, okay, well, what's going to happen next? Yeah. And they're like so adamant on like, there's no <laughs> failing when you're following your heart. Yeah. So if you are feeling that call, know that you are already supported in the jump. Like they're, they're like, you know, kind of like whenever you're a kid that's about to like jump in the pool and you're like so excited, you don't want to jump, but they're like literally there like waiting yeah. for you to just jump, like jump. Yes. We've, we've already got you. Like if we're, yeah. if you hear that calling, then everything that you need is already in a line to support you. And like, there was like this message that came through with me the other day, as I was like going through my own stuff and just calling in my guides and asking for, you know, help or just something. And it was um, something that kind of got me out of alignment um, that kind of started a bit of my into the pit was I wasn't holding the integrity of who I, I truly am. It's like I still was um, uh, doing things out of obligation yeah. because of old patterns. Um, and that threw me out of alignment so quick. And then basically like the line that they gave me, it was like this quote, it was like, if you're not holding your integrity, then you're not holding the light. Or when you're holding your integrity, you're holding the light. So right now, I think it's important more than ever to follow your heart. And so if you're getting the call, like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's about to be so fun and it could already be so fun. It's just however quick you want to make the jump, like right. you could bypass it all is what they're like telling me. And like, I feel like I'm kind of living through it though. Yeah. We still have our growth to go through, but at the end of the day, it's like on a whole different level and it's still, and it's so fun even too. It's like, I don't like, I'm not a fan of roller coasters, but, um, and not even like this one, but I'm but like, it's we've like, been on ah! them for a bit. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, but it's like, um, still entertaining. It's like earth is a wild ride, but it's fun. You know, if you <laughs> allow yourself to have fun through it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, but goodness. anyways, no, I'm, I'm glad about the toolkit though, that we're working on, um, because that will be very helpful. I feel like in the energies to come just to help um, clear. And they're all, all the stuff that I bring through in the meditations are channeled from higher guidance. So you'll feel into those home frequencies that will help align you with home. So I think it's like a clearing and also an aligning. So yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we we've just kind of gotten started. We've been talking about it for a while and kind of working through how we want to do it, but we wanted to create something that, um, you know, if, if you're not wanting to get a session or you're needing something now, you don't want to wait to try to get a session and you just want to work on clearing your energy, clearing the traumas, releasing the density bringing in activations. Um, there are so many different things we're going to be doing in this toolkit. It is like a complete head to toe. Um, there's so much in it. We've, we've got it all sort of sketched out and we've been started creating the meditations. We're not doing one big meditation. Like when you come in for a starship session, it's a big session. Um, those are usually anywhere from an hour and a half to even three hours that we do. And so it's a long, um, it's not a meditation, but it's a long healing session. So we wanted to break things up a bit and give you smaller pieces to work with. Um, we are following the way that it comes through on the starship and the things that we have done with our clients. We're taking all of those things that we've learned and we're working with our guides who are, who are channeling in each one of these um, meditations, activations, clearings, healings, however you want to look at it. They are working with us. So you're channeling all that information in we are creating individual pieces that work together to create a whole clearing package. So we are going to work with each chakra for clearing, healing, disconnecting from traumas of the past, things that you have been holding onto and dragging with you through lifetimes. We're letting those go. We're working on empowerment. We are working on bringing your feminine and masculine energy into balance. We are working on opening and really expanding the heart. The heart is a portal 
into higher dimensions and other realms of existence. So we want to open that up so that you can very easily connect with home and connect with those frequencies that you need. We're working all the way through the chakras. We sort of have that laid out. We're also going to do a really good energetic clearing. Cause I know one of the things that we have found as we do this work is a lot of times there's a significant block in energy between the mind, the heart and the gut. And when those are out of balance, they're not talking to each other correctly. And that can cause a lot of gut issues, a lot of gut health issues, a lot of digestive issues, a lot of things going on in the lower area or the mind gets out of whack because um, it's, there's not a flow of energy. So we're going to open up those pathways, those roadways, as a lot of times the guides like to say in these sessions, we're also going to work on reprogramming the mind. So this has been a big one that Sarah and I have worked on because, um, you know, we get so stuck in our mind, the looping thoughts, the belief systems, the programs, um, the things that keep us stuck and spinning. And we have been working with our clients in um, almost like sometimes we see it as like an untangling. It's like a tangled up mess in there. Like all the wires are just crisscrossed and you're in there Mm -hmm. like untangling wires. And, and then once you get everything untangled and get, again, those energy pathways running smoothly, then the mind becomes balanced and becomes a little clearer. And there's more pieces than that. I can't think of all of them that we have, but I mean, it's, it's a huge, yeah. a huge toolkit that we're putting together. Yeah. I think one of them too, I can't remember, um, but it, I think it was even the, the earth chakra and the soul chakra Yeah, and the earth, um, the earth one was anchoring into new earth, Yeah, uh, going ahead to do that. I remember that part. And then, um, I think the soul, uh, I don't remember that one. It may be about, oh, I think it was connecting to your guides. Um, yeah. Like, so a lot of people who feel like they, they don't have this established or this good connection with their guides, or maybe they get confused on what's their guides and what's their mind. Um, that I think that was one that's on, excuse me, on the list to, um, um, to help establish that relationship with your guides, like a closer one to like feel them. They're going to like come in and give you a hug. And what I've noticed in some sessions, the guides will like move in and out of the energetic field so they can feel into them, uh, into, you know, their, their soul, their person, um, just so you can get an understanding of what's them and what is maybe something else, but, yeah. um, or your own thoughts. So, so that'll be fun because I know a lot of people right now are understanding or learning about these galactic guides and we all, I'm learning and everyone has them. You know, we have mm-hmm. this soul family and this galactic family that we're connected with. So um, I know that my life has been way more interesting, yeah. way more fun yeah. um, <laughs> since I've connected in with them. And it, it, mm-hmm. it it's like literally like, what's well, like having the imaginary friend as a kid, um, but as an adult and you have right. like this group of friends that are with you all the time and it's, it's so much fun. And they do, they probably already are playing with you, like with angel numbers or these little signs. Um, so it's, it's so fun. And that helps bridge the gap between the physical and the spiritual world. That's, that's, I don't know. And they're itching, I know, to connect with their people. Like they, yeah. they love when they find out that their person is receptive to having a relationship um, yeah. because it makes, it makes it fun. It makes it so fun. Yeah. And, and they really do have, you know, um, well, I can speak for mine. They have, they have supported me through my journey as a quantum healing hypnosis practitioner and when I have trusted in them to sort of take control and guide me, it's, it's like more and more things open and expand in my life, which is just amazing. So the more you can begin to connect with them and create that trust, um, they are there to help you get to where you're going, um, which makes life really amazing. I know it's like this magical world that we live in. 
Yeah. And it's like you get to experience it firsthand um, depending on who you work with. But so far, I haven't found any guides that aren't fun um, or had any anyone say that their guides aren't fun. I, I work with the Arcturians and they are so funny. They're like so, so funny. funny. The Pleiadians <laughs> right now are ha- ha- on this They're high serious. mission. They are very, <laughs> which they, they are fun too. So yep. Pleiadians are fun. They can be um, a lot of fun, but they are very serious right they're now. They're very serious about, <laughs> especially like the light warriors, you know, they're yeah. very serious about their mission mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So <clears throat> we love I them. feel like they're a bit serious at the moment because <laughs> it's crunch time. It's crunch um, time. Yeah. And the Andromedans are fun. And then we, they're talking about now that there's going to be this whole new wave of, of galactic beings that are coming yes. through with the new generation of people. It's, it's like, baby. because they have access now, like with the different it's frequencies. It's higher that, energy. Mm-hmm, yeah. With the different frequencies that we now have access to. Um, they were saying that new groups are going to start popping up, which is exciting. So, oh, cause I feel God. like we have like these main five or so like, uh, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Syrian, Andromedan, Lyran, um, Lyrans, yeah, yeah. Um, Angelics. The angels yeah. are always here. Obviously, I know that there's probably more, but I, I can't think of any right now. But yeah. I don't know. It's just such a fun world to live in. Whenever you are connected. Whenever you are open to it. Yeah, absolutely. So we do not have our toolkit created just yet. We're just yeah. starting oh, yeah, to talk back on the about toolkit. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I um, got off if, subject. No, that was great. Um, if you want, if you're interested in the toolkit and you want to be, um, you want to know when we have it ready and we're launching it, um, I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description below for you to get on the wait list. And that'll just put you on my email list. Um, and then when we get close to getting that ready, we'll send out an email to everybody and let you know if that's something that interests you, we would love for you to give it a try and let us know how it helps you. Um, we're very excited about that, but One of the other things that we wanted to talk about today is our Starship Healing Sessions are expanding, and we have a new session that we just launched, and this is our Starship Healing mini session. So we currently have, so all the ways that you can have a Starship Healing Session with Sarah and I, you can come in for a surrogate session, or you don't come in, you can sign up for a surrogate session, which is where she and I get together together. You give us a list of issues or questions that you have for your guides and we connect with your light body. We connect with your guides. We do the healing work. Sarah connects you to the starship, does the healing work, brings through the information, and then we send you a recording. Those recordings range anywhere from an hour and a half to sometimes two and a half hours We've even come close to three, I think, a a few when there's been just a lot of stuff that keeps coming. We're going to do as much as we can in that session. We have a tandem session, which is where you work with the two of us. So it's Sarah and I and then our client. I take Sarah and the client into a state of hypnosis, just like we would in a quantum healing hypnosis session. And we go on a journey together. And what's lovely about this is you get to experience the session firsthand um, and you get to see all the things that are happening. You get to connect with your guides. You get to pull through information just like you would if we were doing a one-on-one hypnosis session. You've got Sarah there to um, validate your experience and bring in more information and connect and channel your guides. So it's like taking the quantum healing hypnosis session and just sort of bumping it up a little bit to the next level. Now we don't do past life regression, like you said, but we are going to go on a journey of understanding whatever it is that you're bringing to the session that you want to know more about. Those sessions typically last anywhere from three to four hours. So they're similar to a hypnosis session because we spend the first part of the session chatting and then we will go into the session for as long as it takes. So our mini session is new because this is a session that Sarah is going to do one-on-one, just the client and 
her. And so in a smaller format, you can very easily connect in and take the client through the journey and have them sort of on the other side of the screen asking questions or um, sort of guiding you themselves through the session, just asking what you need to know. It's the bigger sessions where you need a little bit more help to sort of keep track of what we're working yeah. on, but the smaller sessions are very easy for you to navigate on your own. Mm -hmm. So do you want to talk a little bit about how those have been how those have been working and yeah. Um so we'll connect on Zoom, just me and you, the client, yeah. not you, Heather. The, right. Yeah. Cause Heather's not involved. It's just gonna be it's not it's me, me and yeah, me and the client and we'll connect on Zoom. Uh, which it, it'll be similar to like uh, one of the other sessions before. I'll send you paperwork. You give me one to two things. Um, if you want it to be like a healing session, then we'll deep dive into those areas, um, give you a more understanding of the root of them, where it comes from, and then we'll do a clearing on those. Um, and then, or you could also use this just as um, a connecting in with your guides if you have questions. Um, some people like will come if they're navigating through, um, yeah, just di different things in life. If they just need yeah. added, um, okay. or want to get, yeah, input from their guides, a higher perspective on things. Um, so it could just be a Q and a, but the fun thing is, is that, um, because it is on zoom, you can ask questions like you can ask follow-up questions or if there's something you want to understand that maybe you just want to get a little bit more deeper into or you want to like the guides to elaborate on something it's 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 kind of like a back and forth um there has been times so it's different for each person like there hasn't been a session that's this you know the same so it's all just depending um but what i've seen is where it was um like more of a healing and clearing session, uh, the client will just like close their eyes, get themselves in a meditative state and just feel into the frequencies yeah. right there. And so it's just more, it is like a meditation that I could take you through, um, like a very personal, like a one-on-one -on -one type meditation. And then uh, they've been able to like feel into the frequencies there. And it was like a real time healing. And then there have been times where we've done, um, some clearing work, but then they also had like questions like, well, where this came from just to get a more, oh, is this like maybe um, emotional ties from like way back childhood and then understanding how um, that has just been a loop throughout their life. And then you, yeah. they understand the loop and then how to get out of the loop. And then we'll just go ahead and then go into the mind and just pull out that program while we're there and then go ahead and um, then put in like some new affirmations and things that we want to go forward and then kind of just an empowering type meditation or healing um, to help move forward now that you have this clear understanding of those patterns and pulling out that old programming. So, and then there's been times where it's just been, they wanted to talk to their guides. And so I've just sat there and it's been just like, you have your, your guides there and you can just have a conversation. So it's really just depending on what you want. And it's more like of an intimate setting. Uh, you don't go under, there have been, like I said, people that do get into a meditative state and feel into the frequencies, but it's not anything super deep. And, um, depending on your time, you can like, let me know in the email prior, uh, how much time you want to spend before, but typically I can get your paperwork and I'll, I'll go ahead and tap in before the session gets started, get a feel of you. And then your guides will typically already kind of come in and give me ideas and show me things and go ahead and outline something for me. Uh, that way we'll connect, um, just have an exchange for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And then I will um, take myself and get connected. Um, and then I will just bring forth whatever your journey holds for you. And then we'll go through it. They These last anywhere between like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're much shorter. Um, and then uh, afterwards, we'll just do a debriefing, depending on how much time that you have. I, I love the after because then we can talk about it. But if you don't have time, then you can just go about your day. So it's really just um, depending on what you want out of the session. But it could be healing or just a Q&A. But I'm excited. Yeah. 
because I love, yeah. I'm, I'm having fun with those so far. Yeah, they're great. I, I love that we have lots of different options and it just depends yes. on what is it that you need. If it's just a couple of things, you just want um, a, a, a few answers, you just need a little extra help, then the minis are perfect. If you have more that you want to work on, you want to go deeper, the bigger sessions are probably what you want to look at. We also have another way to do the starship healing, and that is through the quantum soul portal. We do two sessions every month and every single one are different. Um, typically you get a download or you, you tap in with the guides either the day before or the day of when we're doing these sessions and they sort of bring through what we're going to work on. And that a lot of times is based on the group and what they know that the group who is going to attend these sessions, what they need and where we are and what is going to help. So we work on all sorts of things across the board. We've done um, so many fun things in there. These are group sessions. Um, it is like a more of a meditative style. Lots mm -hmm. of healing, lots of information comes through. Sometimes they just, you know, share information with us. Sometimes we go on the ship. Sometimes we go into nature. We never know what we're going to do until we get in there and let the guides come through. Um, but the portal also offers, if you're interested in that membership, there's so many um, really cool things that we're doing in there. We're doing um, messages, sessions with Emily. We do quantum questions where you get to come and ask the guides a question. And then we have new earth mastery sessions where we are diving deep into those bigger topics that everybody wants to know. So I typically poll my group the week before and say, okay, what do you guys want to know? Um, what's on your minds? And I take a large list of questions and then I kind of just connect and, and allow the guides to guide me where they want to go and what they want to talk about. And then it's interactive because the group gets to ask questions. So if we talk about a topic, and somebody wants a more expansive answer, they can, they can ask that. And it's creating um, interaction between the guides and the, the portal members. It's just, I don't know, it's been a really fun experience to do that. And then of yeah. course I create um, a guided meditation, which again is all channeled um, every single month in the portal where we are connecting with different beings. We are going different places. We are working on different levels of healing and all of that is stored in the portal. So you have access to that as long as you're a member. And right now we have so much in there, don't we? Yeah. yeah. It's a full package for sure. And a great group of people, oh such a gosh. great support group. Yeah. Um, yeah. That has been a lot of fun because it is a place when I originally, you know, it was, of course, my guides were like, create a group, create a group. But that was one of the things that I wanted was to create just a space where anybody could come in and just talk about the weirdest yeah. things, you know, the things that you can't talk about to your family or your friends, because they're going to look at you and think you're crazy. I love it. The weirder, the better. Just bring it in there. Yeah. And you will find someone else that's going through the same thing and that will connect and resonate. And I'm seeing so many portal members that are coming together because it's it's almost like a recognition of star family, yeah. which I is know. just amazing. Yeah. So not only did I, you know, meet you obviously in the portal, yeah. but yeah. I feel like I've met it's like so many new best friends. And yeah. it's like, feel it literally does feel like a soul family, like a recognition on a very deeper level. And it's like, you know, your people yeah, and you're in good, good hands. And it's just safe. Like, honestly, I think for the longest time is us just wanting to feel safe here. And this mm -hmm. group definitely gives me like you, you have not only like these friends, but this safe place for you to be and be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important. So, um, I am going to leave all of this information that we're talking about today, the different ways that you can connect with us on the starship healing. Um, I'm going to leave the link for the wait list for the toolkit. We're going to call it a toolkit right now. Um, and then I'm also going to leave, um, Sarah's information down below as well. She is working on a website. Um, she's got a brand new website out, we'll say, 
and um, she's going to be offering some of her services and even some new services moving forward. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Be sure to head over to her YouTube channel and subscribe. And also she's got an Instagram account or a couple of Instagram accounts. I don't know <laughs> what you want to link, but we'll link whatever you want below. And people yeah. can subscribe to that so they can keep up with what you're you're doing in your life. Anything else you want to share that, um, that you've got going on that you want to? No, I just know that I feel like so many new things are coming. It's like everything's bubbling at the surface, yeah. just ready to unfold. So I know a lot of new things are going to come and that's what, um, I don't know. I just feel like this get ready. Like things are about to get, get so much fun. And so, um, but I think that's it for now, but I do yeah. know I I'm excited about the future and all of the things I think, I don't know. I just have like this whole time, this, like this feeling in my solar plexus, that's just like this excitement, um, like I can't really be still. I'm finding myself just like moving around. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with all this energy. So I'm just going to like move. I think it's our <laughs> so, guides. They're excited. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they're like, yay, yay. They're talking. <laughs> they're talking about all the good things. They're talking about us. We love it when they talk about us. <laughs> I love it. And I do. It's a perfect way to end. It's just a reminder that there, you know, when we do, because we do so, we get to connect so many times every week with the guides through these different sessions, through Emily, through um, the group sessions, through the messages sessions. I mean, I feel very privileged to have access yeah. to to all the different beings at the end of the day, there's so many good things coming, so many um, amazing things. And I hear this over and over again. If you could see your future and how it's pl going to play out, like we see it, like we're not going to ruin the surprise. Sorry, they won't tell yeah. you exactly what's going to happen. They're like, you would just look at all of this and go, I'm not even worried about it. Like this is nothing because look what you're moving into. So if I could give any advice, it would just be to keep doing that inner healing work in whatever way that looks for you, whether you're doing it with a session or you're doing it on your own, all is perfect. Follow your own inner guidance. Just keep working on clearing, releasing, being kind to yourself, loving yourself through the, even the, the darkest parts, the hardest parts because it will shift and there's a bigger reason that you're going through this clearing and releasing and it feels heavy and uncomfortable, but if you can move through it with grace and ease and, and kindness to yourself, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't make the universe mad. <laughs> it's just where we are right now. Um, just move through it with ease and you'll come out on the other side. And like Sarah said, you will be higher and then you'll have those higher experiences and you might dip down a little bit again. And then it's going to take you up a little bit more. So it's just a process that we're going through right now. Yeah. And just hang in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been amazing. Um, I've really enjoyed this little chat and sharing some of the new things that we have going on. I'm going to leave all of that information in the description below. We would love to work with you in one of these ways and be sure to get on the wait list if you're interested in that toolkit. And we will see you next time. Have a great, have a great rest of your week, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.